Okay, don't be mad at us, but we did a couple of things without you. We just created our pantry, like our little bones for our pantry, and we also got our shelf hung. These J brackets are bolted in. They actually go straight through the bus and are have a nut on the outside. Now we're gonna start working on our cabinet doors. Mm -hmm. Both the doors for the top and the bottom. Yeah, two below and two swingers up above. Yeah. And we're using one inch by two inch plywood for the bordering of the doors. Yeah, so we wanna do something kind of fun and creative for our cabinet doors. There's really so many options when it comes to counter doors. <laughs> <laughs> or ca cabinet doors, I keep saying counter doors. I'm yeah. Mean cabinet doors? Yeah, cabinet cupboard, I don't even know. What the but. fuck ever. It's <laughs> small in here and we're going crazy. This is that like cheap $11 fencing that you can buy at the hardware store. Um, but yeah, it's actually bamboo shoots. What do you call it? Reeds. Pam bamboo reeds. Baby bamboo. Baby bamboo reeds. Yeah, we're gonna take out the wiring, just separate them and use the, the material to line it up um, perfectly. Yeah. So we'll Good have job. some cool natural fiber uh, cabinet doors. We're just gonna jump right into it. Here we go. So here's our little uh, front facing cabinet doors. Those will go right there. So next we're going to drill dowel holes in all of the joints. This is a quarter inch drill. And then these little guys uh, slip inside to really add uh, additional support and strength. Yeah, and we'll use some wood glue in addition wood to glue that. Wood glue in the holes and in the seams. These are gonna be really solid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, we have all of our cabinet frames lined up. So now we're just gonna glue them all together and then use these brackets um, just to keep them nice and flush and solid. Ming, beat it. Should we wipe that? Yeah. Okay, so we just laid out this uh, bamboo crap <laughs> and we're gonna take this wire out and then like glue them like crazy all the way up. Ooh. Yes! Crazy! Let's peek. Ah! Oh. <gasps> You're gonna die. So yeah, we're gonna um, go grab a bite because we haven't eaten all day because we're skinny models. I need a drink. <laughs> yeah. Toodles. Our cabinet doors look amazing. Here they are. So now we're gonna take our sander and just blast off some of the glue bits that kind of drip down and get the edges. And then we're gonna stain the front, let it dry, flip them over, stain the back.
We're using this one coat polyurethane sealant to drench these bamboo reeds in this coating so that they have a little more strength. They're pretty lightweight, so this will uh, make them more secure and give it a nice uh, glossy finish. Sort of like stick together with this, right? And then become more like one unit. <laughs> exactly. Rather than like little toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, so we're hoping today might be our last day Wrapping doing this, up. possibly. Yeah. I feel like we have pretty much everything done. So last night we painted this back wall, uh, this taupey color, because we have some backsplash tile stickers we'll be putting on. Here they are, aren't they pretty? Then we decided to add like this little piece of backsplash. So we just cut out a piece of wood. We didn't order enough of these, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's why this is happening, but it ends up being a really nice feature. Yeah. I was it's trying to improv, skate around that, but imp that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> improv moment turned just like so good. I think we'd prefer this actually than a whole wall of sticker, don't you? Yeah, totally. I agree. So everything just. I love little out. moments like that. Mm. Not there. We have probably switched this thing back and forth from bit to screw like 500 times. Another tip is buy two fucking power drills. One for doing your pre drills and then one for your screw. Charge off, we'll go down there with a the little sharpie later. Whoops! These are super simple. Just peel them off and then stick them on, and they're really easy to like pull them off and manipulate if you have to. And then later, you use a blow dryer to heat them up, and that activates the glue. Allegedly. Oh, look, that's perfect. Instant oil. Mmm. This is instant satisfaction right here. Okay, good job, baby. Thanks. Oh, and these are waterproof, like designed for kitchen backsplashes, even the floor, so. From Portugal. Yeah, from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> They're European. <laughs> Ooh, our backsplash looks so good. Super in love with it. Wow, baby. You have the best ideas. The grout, I mean, that's what really makes it yeah. look totally legit. In all the pictures, they had like a, they just put all the stickers together and it Without was, the seam. yeah, it didn't have like a border, but I think that looks a lot better. So now, now. we are doing something very in insane and intense. I'm gonna cut a hole in our sink right now. <gasps> this is the little drain that we're gonna install in the sink, so it's like, what, an inch and a quarter? Bowl. Inch and a quarter, yeah. Yep. This is an RV version, so it's plastic and a little smaller. Anyway, let's <laughs> get this party started. Here. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. That's a cute spot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to keep it stationary. It's like hard to, to get a start, because it just... After a quick trip to the hardware store, we realize two, two drips. <laughs> we realize you drill a hole first with the drill bit, then you line up the drill bit on the inside of the correct <laughs> coal cutter, and then right. We yeah. had the we had one that was too long, so the drill wasn't poking out. A couple scrubs. Always. Okay, so here's our shelf that we just put up here. Uh, we have this really cute idea that we've seen, you know, a million times. Not like we invented this. <laughs> But we're gonna have some hanging jars all along. We have 12 in total. So we'll do four on this side of this little J bracket and eight on this side. So now we're just lining it all up. And then it's as easy as screwing in the lids mm -hmm. to the bottoms and that's it. There's a mason jar shortage in this country on account of canning, I guess. Like people have just been canning and crafting. Um, so I found the only box of mason jars in all of Orange County. Well, the only box of 32 ounce jars. Right, right. Because so we only... found, we originally bought 16 ounce jars and we realized they were way too small. 
Yeah, they were so, so puny. Yeah, but these ones um, are so cute. They have little fruit baskets. And it. on Amazon, this box of 12 is selling for $50 because they're like hotcakes now. 50 bucks. It's like the new toilet paper. But we bought it for... 12 And with a coupon. With a coupon. It was $12. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, Jeremy's mom. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah. She yelled at her. Oh look, now she left so she can have some. <laughs> This is like 
final stretch. Like the end, you know? The cherry right here. Yeah, so this thing <laughs> we made just like quickly off camera. This will be a little face for our refrigerator. We uh, toyed around with a couple of different options. We had some like hanging fringe. We had a couple of tapestries that we were playing with, but nothing was really looking very like great, you know? Coherent. Yeah, for like. It was like disconnected. And yeah, so. Downgrading all of our custom woodwork. Downgrading everything that we did. Yeah. So we made this cute little, little mask. Panel? Yeah. Uh, mask, I like that. Yeah, it's a little mask for her. So we're just gonna put her on with some industrial Velcro. So each Velcro holds 10 pounds and there's yeah. two per thing, so. We're just gonna load it up with a ton of Velcro and she should be good. So we're gonna do that and then give you like the grand reveal, the grand tour of it all. Strap it on. <laughs> grand finale. I know. It is the finishing touch. I'm gonna miss touch. working on the kitchen. I know. Line it up perfect. We only got one shot. One shot. You should help me. Looks good. Are we got it. <laughs> should we set it on its for, on its face? Like sit on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So we currently have our refrigerator sitting on its face. So the weight of it makes the glue of the Velcro nice and secure. So we're just chilling and just, you know, decorating and hanging some lights, lights. Killing time, <coughs> you know. Dangling some lights over here. And here she is all installed. And it looks fab. This is like the simplest solution for a rolling horizontal refrigerator in the entire world. Hopefully everybody does it now that you've seen it. And before anybody says anything, we will be putting a bungee that goes right across for when we're in motion. So we'll put screw in a little eyelet right there and right there and then just hook a little bungee right across for when we're moving and that'll keep her in. The stove has two screws right at the bottom, but just for safety, we'll do the exact same thing for up here. it for the kitchen for now so in our next segment we'll be moving on to i think our bathroom right just right on the other side of this wall yep we had lots of fun thanks for tra traveling along on our journey with us and we'll see you in the next one love you guys